I remember very specifically all the ways that alopecia was affecting my life and I was hiding under this wig. It was itchy. It was hot. I was frustrated. It wasn't fitting properly, but I didn't feel like I had a choice. Like the idea of not wearing a wig and just going outside bald was just, I never, ever, ever thought that I would get up that kind of courage to be able to do that. And, but it was affecting every area of my life and I remember that frustration. For example, I remember that I went with my family to an amusement park and I had on my wig, it was a hot summer day and there were things that I couldn't do anymore, you know. With the wig it was like a, it was crippling me from being able to do the things I wanted to do. So my, I remember my children would say, Mom, are you going to, Mommy, let's go on the, on, on the water slides. You know, and, and it looked so much fun and everybody is like splashing around in the water and they're coming down the little tube and they're having fun and I wanted to go on. It was hot, you know, I'm hot up underneath this wig and I really wanted to go on this, this ride and I remember that I couldn't. I just was like, I hold the bags because I've got on this wig and I can't go. You know, the wig's going to fall off and I'm going to be embarrassed. And so I can't do that. And I missed out on the opportunity to create a great memory with my kids. And so they went on the ride. They had fun. And I held the bags. And I remember at that park also, we were going to get, um, they wanted to go on a roller coaster. I can't go on a roller coaster because I can't go upside down, because I can't spin around, because my hair is going to fall off. It's just, I can't do anything, you know, hiding under this wig. But I remember that there was this one young lady online. It was a teenager. And she had alopecia universalis, just like me. She was completely bald. But she was online with her friends. She didn't have on any wig, nothing. She was just happy. She was just doing her. They were excited. They were online. They were about to ride the roller coaster. And I'm there with my family. And I'm telling them, I can't get on this ride because I've got this wig on. And they're like, oh, mom, come on. And I remember looking at her. And I was like, oh my God, look at her. She is out. She is like, she's, good. she's enjoying herself. She's not stuck up underneath a hot wig like me. And I remember going up to her because at that time I didn't have that kind of confidence. And I remember it was like, you know, that place, that um, poem from Marion Williamson, Our Deepest Fears. And there's a part in the poem that says, when you let your light shine you unconsciously give other people permission to do the same thing. And seeing her was like her light was shining. And I wanted, I wanted my light to shine too. And I remember that I went up to her and I said, you're beautiful. And I said, I just want you to know I have alopecia too. She wouldn't know because I had my wig on, but I have it too. And then one day, I told her one day I wanted to be like her, and I wanted to be free. And it took me some time to get there, but I did it. And I want that, I want that for every woman.